The Spokane City Council needs another week to decide which organization will operate a new homeless shelter. Tonight, supporters of Jules Helping Hands made their case for hundreds of tiny homes. As Krem 2's Kyle Shimchuk reports, it's an idea the City Council President called creative. Council members were not ready to award a contract tonight because the committee reviewing these three nonprofits and their plans has not made a recommendation. A lot of people speaking here want the city to take a different approach. They believe tiny homes are the answer. Please let us get to a place where we can be safe and put our heads down on a pillow. That's all we ask for. The Salvation Army and the Guardians Foundation have each submitted their own proposal to operate a homeless shelter. So is Jules Helping Hands. Only one organization will get the contract. Last June, the city closed 100 low barrier shelter beds. And we had a law that says you were supposed to replace them immediately, and they didn't. And that's what evolved into Camp Hope, too, was 100 people who could have been sheltered. And of course, now it's turned into 300 people. The new Camp Hope off I-90 in Freya is home to hundreds of tents. Jules Helping Hands is asking the city for $1 million to buy more than 120 tiny homes, known as pallet shelters. They take less than an hour to set up. We need to try the, sh the pallet shelter idea that's now being used up and down the West Coast successfully. It occurs to me that everyone needs their space their place to call their own, where they can get away to sometimes. Volunteers and supporters of Jules Helping Hands want council members to fund their proposal and $10 million for staffing, mental health, and addiction treatment that would be located on site. In February, when we had that cold snap, the city did nothing and people died. People died. Like, come on. Wouldn't it be nice to go into the winter not wondering where they're going to go, but actually how we're going to help them. The new Camp Hope is on property owned by the Washington Department of Transportation. Council President Brian Begg says new laws give Washout the authority to lease the land to the city and low-income housing projects at a reasonable price. Council President Brian Beggs is confident that members will be ready to vote and award a contract during next week's meeting. Reporting from City Hall, Kyle Simchuk, Krem 2 News.